6 was the scene at a hospital this morning as Rochester police officer Denny Wright was released. It was three weeks ago today that officer Wright was stabbed in the head and face while responding to a call. Kayla Green shows us how his service and sacrifice were honored today. Police officers, first responders, and community members filled the parking lot here at Unity Hospital this morning. Everyone can agree what happened to Officer Denny Wright is horrible, but the community took this as an opportunity to show him he's not alone. We're super happy that he's going home. He has a long road ahead, but just wanted to come out and support all the officers in general. Mary Jo Doran's husband works with Officer Wright in the Clinton section. She says he was on scene the day Officer Wright was attacked and that day was difficult. It's bittersweet. Um, you know, these guys and girls have a really difficult job these days. They just go out to serve and protect. And sometimes, you know, it's not. It doesn't. They're the ones that get injured. The job can be so dangerous, the RPD briefly implemented a two badge patrol policy. It stopped after nine days. Rochester Police Chief LaRon Singletary says the department is only set up for one badge patrol. Factors like city size, population, and number of officers play into that. We, we always look and see what we can kind of do better and mitigate any type of risk. This is a dangerous job. Uh, no one's discounting that. You know, I give praise each and every time that I can to the men and women who wear this badge. Chief Singletary says if there was something they could do that would ensure officer safety 100%, they'd already be doing it. He also says Wright has a long road ahead, but he's impressed with the progress he's made in just three short weeks. Kayla Green, News 8. Kayla, thank you. The man accused of attacking Officer Wright is being held without bail right now. 28-year-old Keith Williams was indicted by a grand jury two weeks ago. He's facing one felony charge. The DA has also filed charges of attempted aggravated murder and aggravated assault of an officer.